Good afternoon, Emily. My name is Austin. I'm a salesman here at Mercedes-Benz of Manchester. And thank you so much for your interest in our 2016 GLE 350. This vehicle is a beautiful black color, as you can see. Underneath the hood, we have a 3.5 liter V6. It makes 302 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. This vehicle has the beautiful AMG styling package, which includes the big flares in the front. It also has the AMG night package which includes black accents on the front grill and on the rims, which I'll show you in a second here. And moving around, we'll take a look at those rims. As you can see, it is the beautiful five-spoke Mercedes-Benz rims. Moving back to the door, I'll start with the side view mirror. As you can see, it does have a little triangle in the bottom corner. That's gonna light up red like it is when a vehicle is in your blind spot. That mirror is also auto folding and auto dimming. On the outside here, you'll see a little light that's gonna blink with your blinker. Now moving back to the door handle, this vehicle has the keyless go system, which allows you to lock and unlock the vehicle simply by placing your hand on the outside and inside of the door handle. Now, as you can see, this vehicle does also have the stainless steel running boards down below, as well as the rails for a roof rack up above. Moving around to the rear end. As you can see, we do have the beautiful dual exhaust down below. We have a trailer hitch. Underneath this lip here, we do have a uh, little backup camera that will fold out when you put the vehicle in reverse and fold back in when you go back into drive to, to keep that camera clean, especially in the winter time. I'll pull this lever here to open the trunk. As you can see with the GLE, you got plenty of space back here. You also have an all weather mat here. This vehicle comes with the regular carpet as well as all weather mats. Lift this up here. See, we also have a spare tire down below. And to close the hatch, simply press this button here and it'll do so automatically. Now moving around to the passenger side of the vehicle, I'll open up the rear door to give you a look at the beautiful black MB Tex interior. Now, those back seats are 60-40 splitting, and you can actually pull them forward and recline them back using this little lever right here. Now, looking up, this vehicle also does have the sunroof. Looking down at the, at the back of the center console there, you can also see this vehicle does have heated rear seats, which you can activate using those buttons there. You also have a little 12 volt charger for the rear seat passengers. Now moving into the front seat, we'll take a quick look around here. First starting with the center console. I'll open that up to show you the room inside. You can remove this little dish here to give you access to even more space. You do have two USB ports in there. When you connect your phone to the bottom USB port, that actually gives you access to Android Auto and Apple CarPlay with this vehicle. Now moving forward, we'll take a look at the control panel for this vehicle. As you can see, you have a little touchpad here that you can use to control the infotainment system here. But you also have this little dial in front of that. That's going to also allow you to use the infotainment screen just by bumping the dial forward, back, left and right, and of course turning it side to side. Now right next to that you actually have your different drive modes. As you can see you have individual mode, sport mode, comfort mode, slippery mode, and off-road mode. In front of that you have a few buttons here. 
this button's going to automatically bring you to your vehicle information. And as you can see, depending on what drive mode you're in, it can show you certain information such as how much of the brake you are applying, how much of the accelerator you're applying, what steering angle you have, and when you change from drive mode to drive mode, the visual on the screen will change. As you can see in off-road mode here, this will show you your descent angle and what angle you are currently in side to side, as well as what direction you are facing. This button here is your manual mode button. That's going to allow you to change gear only using these paddle shifters that are behind the steering wheel and this button here is your DSR button. That's going to allow you to stay at a certain speed while traveling downhill for an extended period of time. Now moving forward, you, as you can see, we have our two cup holders here. You can pull this across to hide those away. You also have a little storage space in front of that. Moving up, we have our climate control settings. There are two climate control zones for this vehicle, one for the driver and one for the front passenger. Now looking up, we actually have heated seats for the front seats as well. You have three different settings of intensity to choose from. And moving up on this side, we have our quick menu buttons. So pressing any of these buttons will quickly bring you to any of these following screens. This is your on and off button for the infotainment system. And these buttons here allow you to dial a number that you wish to call while your phone is connected to the vehicle via Bluetooth. Now moving over to the steering wheel, you do have a few different buttons that you can use to change a few different settings in the vehicle. On the right side, you have the volume right here. You can mute the volume using that button. You can answer and hang up calls using these buttons here. And you can activate the voice control settings by pressing that button. Now looking on the left side, we have a few directional buttons here. These buttons are going to allow us to change the settings that are displayed on the center gauge cluster screen. As you can see, you can toggle through your radio, your audio settings, navigation settings, your trip settings, um, even some drive assist settings are controlled right from this screen. Now taking a look on my left, you can see we have our switches here to change the position of your seat. We have one of these for the driver and front passenger. You also have three different memory modes, so you can set three different preset seating positions. As you can see, this vehicle also has the Harman Kardon premium audio system with surround sound. Thank you so much for watching, Emily. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, my name is Austin. If you have any additional questions, please call me at 603-832-3268, or you can email me at a l-u-n-t at driveprime.com.